Hello and welcome back to our tutorial. This time I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to combine multiple instruments into one staff. Now the reason why something like this can be useful is particularly in larger ensembles and in orchestral scores, two or sometimes more of the same instrument will be reduced to just a single staff. For example, if an orchestral work has two flutes, commonly in the score these two separate flute parts will appear on the one staff. And Sibelius has made this quite straightforward for us. We first select the staffs that we would like to combine, in this case our flutes, and of course don't forget to select all bars in a staff, we triple click with the mouse. And then under the note input tab, we click reduce. Use existing staff as destination, and select the staff we would like to use. Click OK. And there we have it. You'll notice that where possible, Sibelius has tried to keep everything in the one voice and only uses combination of different voices when the material differs rhythmically. You'll also notice that when the two parts play the same tone, Sibelius adds A2 to the staff to let us know that the instruments should play in unison. And this is very well done by the program, but for the example I have open here, it looks a little bit ridiculous because the instruments are only playing unison for one note. And this is a classic example of where as an engraver you have to carefully think over which way of notating the same thing is going to be the most appropriate. Instead of using A2, I could, for example, double the note. This would also be clear as to what should be played, but it also doesn't look that fantastic. Another option would be to use separate voices for that bar. And that doesn't look too bad, but, you know, I still wouldn't say that I love it. The more I work in the engraving industry, the more convinced I am that this sort of work is really all about making compromises. So we'll just leave it the way it is. Now, there is of course a problem with combining staffs. So if we're going to be merging two instruments into the one staff in the score, the big question is, well, what do we do with the parts? Now, ideally, each instrumentalist should only have their music in their parts and not have to read multiple voices or the musical material that their neighbors are playing. So that is to say, really, we only want one voice per part. And there are two decent ways to go about this. The first option is to create two separate Sibelius files for the one document. That is to say, a file for the score and a file for the parts. But if you're going to do this, you're going to want to do this when you're already finished working on the score because as soon as you make a copy of the document any changes that you need to make to the music will now have to be made in both documents. However, with a file for our score and a file for our parts, we can have staffs that combine instruments in our score version of the piece and individual staffs for each instrument in our parts version of the piece. So this is the way that I personally usually work with larger ensembles because I find that creating two documents usually just ends up being a little less fiddly and a little less complicated. However, if you are determined to keep everything in the one document, there is another option, but it will require us to create an additional staff per instrument group. So let's say that I would now like to reduce my oboes down to one staff, but keep the instrumental parts. So I first select my oboe staffs, click on reduce as I did before, but this time we're going to select create new destination staff. I'll give the new staff a name and click OK. And so now we have a staff for oboe 1, for oboe 2, and for the combination of both. Now we just want to hide the staffs for oboe 1 and oboe 2 in the score, and only use these staffs for the instrumental parts. And to do this we select all of the material in these staffs, and then in the Home tab we click Hide or Show, and then show in parts. And this will hide everything in the score, but leave it visible in the parts. And then after doing that, you'll see, however, that the staves are still there. But because the content is now hidden, we can also hide the staves by pressing Control Alt Shift H. So there we have it, the best of both worlds. In the score, we can only see our combination staff, but we still have our individual parts available to us. And of course, as always, I just can't forget that if I have to change something with the oboe, I'm now going to have to do it in two places. So I hope you have fun trying this out, and I'll see you in the next lesson.